Hey, I'm Kelsey, creator of the InDesign Field Guide, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to apply fill colors and stroke colors to objects and text in Adobe InDesign. Let's go. When you're adding color to objects or text in InDesign, you can do it in two ways. The first is your stroke color, which is the outline around text or around a shape. And the second is your fill color, which means just what it sounds like, the color your object or your text is filled with. Now you can change colors in a few different places when your object or text frame is selected. So make sure you select it first, and then you can do this in three different places. Up at the top of your toolbar, you can change your fill color here or your stroke color here. In the same way, you can double click those same thumbnails over in your toolbar to open up an actual color picker window. And then my favorite way is in the swatches flyout menu, which is right here. If you don't see the swatches menu, you can go to window, color, and toggle on swatches. To change the fill color, select your object first with the selection tool or the letter V on your keyboard. And before you select your color, we need to do two things. First, we need to make sure that the fill thumbnail is in the front. That means it's active. If the stroke thumbnail is in the front, that means the stroke is active and any color we select will be applied to the stroke. But right now we wanna change the fill. So make sure the fill is in the front and then select your color. If you're doing this with text, select your text box, make sure the fill is in the front, and then we also need to check one other thing for working with text. We can toggle between these two options, making your changes affect either the frame that you've selected or the container or the text inside the frame. So again, InDesign treats those as two different things, the content inside the frame as well as the frame. So if we have the frame selected and we click a color, it's gonna fill up the frame with the color, not the text. We don't want that, so select the T to make sure we're formatting our text, and then you can change your color. If you want to quickly toggle between these two icons, you can use the J key to quickly jump between selecting the frame or selecting the text. In the same way, to change your stroke color, select your frame, make sure the stroke is in the front, make sure the letter T is selected so we're adjusting our text, again make sure the stroke is in the front, and then you can make your changes to your color. And you can do the same thing with objects, making sure the stroke thumbnail is in the front and active, and then selecting your color. You can also have a stroke and a fill color at the same time, like this. To adjust the thickness of the stroke, first select the object you wanna change, then select which icon you're applying the formatting to, the frame or the text, and then you can customize the stroke in two places. Again, up here at the top of the toolbar, you can change the weight of the stroke, or the style, and you can make those same changes plus more in the stroke flyout menu. If you're not seeing this over here, you can go to window and down to stroke to toggle that on. You can make those same two changes here with the weight and the style, as well as a lot of other ways to customize your lines and your strokes. And all of these settings will work with a straight line as well as a shape or with text. And lastly, if you wanna flip flop your stroke and your fill color, go back to your swatches palette and the little icon right here in between the stroke and the fill thumbnails is a curved arrow. And if you click that, it'll swap your fill and your stroke colors. And you can click it again to swap them back. If you want more Adobe InDesign training, watch my free workshop where I break down the most popular design apps and programs and show you when it's best to use each one. Psst, you can do way more with InDesign than you probably realize. Plus, I'll walk through exactly how to design a PDF worksheet and promo graphic from start to finish using only InDesign. Click that first link in the description below to watch the free workshop right now. Go ahead, click it. You know you want to.